Hello and welcome to the episode 293 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. In this episode, we have live gigs, a TV preview of new compositions, and the completion of the first Plastic Ono Band album. Let's start with the 20th of October 1960 night performance that the Beatles, featuring Beat Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, had at the Kaiser Keller Club in Hamburg, West Germany. As usual, they alternated on the stage with Ringo Starr's band, Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. In 1961, the Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums but with Paul McCartney on bass after the departure of Sutcliffe, performed a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, their 60th overall appearance on that stage. In the evening, the band had their fourth performance at the Village Hall in Naughty Ash, England, for another show booked through Mona Best, Pete's mother. One year later, in 1962, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, played at another top-rank venue, the Majestic Barroom in Hull. This was the furthest the band had performed from their Liverpool hometown to date. As you will remember, the top-rank gigs came thanks to a shrewd tactic employed by Beatles manager Brian Epstein in June 1962, that resulted in wider opportunities for the lads. If you don't recall, please refer to episode 179 of What A Fab Day to find out. Another thing you can find out is how you can make my work on this and other music-related content less lonely and more rewarding. You do that by visiting www.simonmas.com support. Be fab and help out, even with just a comment about what you like the most about this podcast. Thank you! On the 20th of October 1963, the Beatles appeared at the top of the bill of another ABC Television's Thank You Lucky Stars show, their fifth. The appearance was filmed at the Alpha Television Studios in Birmingham in the afternoon, and it was aired on the 26th of October between 5.50 and 6.35 pm. For this occasion, the Beatles mimed three songs, one more than usual and two more than the average act on the show. All my loving, money, that's what I want, and she loves you. On this date in 1964, the Beatles played the Care Doll in Dundee for their British tour. A crew from the local Grampian television filmed an interview with the lads in their dressing room before the show, plus some of the performance. All the footage was edited and broadcast for the Grampian Week show of the 23rd of October, from 6.10 to 6.45 pm. 1965. Today, the Beatles were at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, London, to record the second day side for their double single, a song called We Can Work It Out. The song was started and almost completed in two recording sessions today, between 2.30 and 6.30 pm and 7 and 11.45 pm. The basic track was nailed in two takes, with the song being brought to almost completion with overdubs of vocal parts and harmonium. In 1967, between 7 pm and 3.45 am, the four Beatles attended a session at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, despite none of them was supposed to contribute a single note during the whole evening. Between 8 and 11 pm, Christopher Taylor, Richard Taylor and Jack Ellery overdubbed flutes onto The Fool on the Hill. Then, between 11 pm and 2.30 am, Ken Essex and Leo Birnbound played a viola part on Hello Goodbye, one that George Martin had transcribed from Paul's piano playing on another session. Also during this session, McCartney erased the guitar solo from Hello Goodbye and replaced it with the echo-drenched line 
Why, 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 why do you say goodbye, goodbye? During the day, as usual, the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film had continued at Norman's Film Productions. On this date in 1968, Paul McCartney and Linda Eastman left London for a 10-day holiday in New York and Jamaica. Finally, in 1969, John Lennon remixed Don't Worry Kyoko for the Plastic Ono Band album Live Peace in Toronto 1969, in a session between 2.30 and 11.30 pm at the EMI Studios. With this work, the album was completed and consigned to Apple to be cut. Live Peace in Toronto 1969 was the first Plastic Ono Band album ever released. Tomorrow we'll have more studio work, this time completely focused on Beatles releases. This episode, though, is over. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.